Priest. This is Quadramini. Slotting it home to make it 1 0 for Zimbabwe. Quadramini showing that uh, he is a veteran. He's been around for quite some time now and he looked very comfortable. And now it's time for Botswana. Can they make it? Let's see what Donovan Bennett will do. He takes it nicely. 1-1, one, one, the scoreline. Can they make it? Let's see what Donovan Bennett will do. He takes it nicely. 1-1, one, one, the scoreline. One, 1-1, one, the scoreline. There was one player slotting it into the back of the net. M. Tawana. And uh, Molapela. Oh, lovely take. Ah, uh, that was a well-taken penalty. It's an area where most goalkeepers, or nearly every goalkeeper, will find it difficult to save such a penalty. You know, it was uh, high, not very high, and uh, the goalkeeper had no chance. 2-1 to the Warriors. And uh, let's see how Botswana will be taking this one. And he's backing away quite a long, long way back. Here he comes now. Straight down the middle to send the goalkeeper the wrong way. That was the captain, Kebue. <coughs> Zimbabwe now with their third penalty. Let's see how this will be taken, young Manire. And he hits the crossbar. Mm. He managed to send the goalkeeper the wrong way, but his shot was too high. And he rattled the crossbar. Very unfortunate for the Highlanders, Engamin there, Manire. He missed the cross, the crashed the crossbar. There is the effort again. He had the idea, but I think he leaned back too much. But well, it's not the end of the story. Now it's time for Donovan Bernard. Well taken penalty. And Botswana lead now. Three goals to two. Let's take a second look at uh, that penalty. Close to missing, but uh, went in off the upright. He must have been watching Kylian Mbappe so many times. Another chance for the Warriors to restore parity. Here he comes now. 
And under save, another miss. And Malapela now feels inspired. That was Zimbabwe's fourth penalty. They've only scored twice. And if Botswana score, it's still a two. then it should be the end yes, of story. Because we are two behind and we are left with one kick. So Donovan will have to save this one. Will he be able to do that? That's the big question. He's managed to save it. So Zimbabwe is still in the game. Well done, Donovan Bernard. So, we have to score on this occasion and hope that Bernard will save the next one. Here is the captain now to take it, Peter Mudua. Peter Mudua backs away a few meters as the captain. Can you save the situation? Here he comes now. Oh, he does well. He does so well, sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. Now the big question is, can Donovan Bernard save this one so that we enter into sudden death? Second look at the penalty. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Yeah, I think on that one, the goalkeeper was trying to complain that he stopped on his final run. But I think watching that slow-mo, I think he did everything right there. He just started, but he didn't completely stop. And he completely stopped, then it was going to be considered as a miss. Yeah, indeed, it was, uh, it was very close. Here's a chance of this one. And the Batwana have won it. They are now celebrating, have beaten Zimbabwe 4-3 on penalties. It was painful, but I can say that really when you take a look at the match, the way it went about, Zimbabwe was in control. They were the ones that were pressurizing. They, they passed the ball with a lot of purpose. As we see the you know, fans invading the pitch in celebrations, it's their Uhuru Day. 57 years of independence, and of course, it ends well for them. But for Zimbabwe, the two-year sabbatical is over, and here is the reality. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. But all the same, I say to the Warriors, well done, guys. Exactly, Stanley. It's well done to the Warriors. And also considering the manner in which we lost, yes, it's a bitter pill to swallow, but losing on a penalty shootout, I think it's not that bad. Uh, but the official result remains, it's a draw, it's a 1-1. Mm -hmm. So it's good to uh, start for.